in Crisco, Texas. Mikey Garcia, 32 years of age. Marcus is 30. And you see the big difference there. And Mikey Garcia really is, he has the frame of a lightweight, the height of a lightweight at five foot six. Jesse Vargas listed at a full five foot 11. Jesse Vargas has a lot of respect for Mikey Garcia. He's that type of guy. Mikey Garcia all smiles as he gets back into the ring here in Texas, and he just beat him down. Then he went to the Manny Pacquiao fight. So Vargas has been in tough and has been, in comp had been competitive. Power of Jesse Vargas, is that enough to keep Mikey from going inside? That's a big question. So he was able to start to get a little more comfortable, lands a hook, smacks a hook off the face of Garcia. Vargas, Vargas is very good at making you think that he's gonna punch down. And then he comes around the gloves of Mikey Garcia. Garcia, I'm surprised, fell for that shot right there. He throws it with the left hook and an overhand right. Sharp jab countered by Garcia. A right hand and hook combination from Vargas as they start to trade. He's gonna go low and he comes around the guard with that left hook, both to the left and the right. It's a good jab straight up the middle. That was a good angle from our camera position there where you saw it coming. Nice stiff jab there. By Garcia, but no, I opponent agree. to face him this summer, so you're right. A lot of pressure on Mikey Garcia. Good right hands to the body, and Vargas has landed a number of them in this fight. And he's doing. <laughs> Starts to heat up at the end. No, he's not going to let you uh, come back in the fight if he has Whoa. the lead. Beautiful jab off that hook to the body. I mean, that was light in round three. He's trying to catch Garcia coming with a wide left hook around the guard. Garcia is able to catch him on the way. That's a beautiful one, too, by Garcia. He puts his whole body, what Garcia does, to land that right hand over the top. Good stick by Vargas again. That jab, another good jab by Garcia. They start to trade. Garcia now pressing forward. Main event, Mikey Garcia and Jesse Vargas. And a right hand by Vargas, and he backs up Garcia. Good right hand. And here we see the tricks of both fighters right here. That's what Mikey Garcia specializes in. He times you with that long jab just to land what he really wants to write, the right hand right over it. But he guides you, and he guides your face to where you want to land that right hand. And here comes Jesse Vargas, what he is really good at. He jabs downstairs to lure you to drop your arms to come around the guard with overhand rights and lefts. Yeah. The other guy steps forward, and there's Garcia right now. Front side. The counter left hand by Garcia, but there was a hook landed by Vargas. Really confident be able to throw it. Good exchange. Both guys landing something. Vargas now pressing the action and getting after Garcia. I think that left hook rocked Garcia. Garcia landed her right hand. Swung around the guard of Garcia. And that right there, that rocked Garcia. You can see how his legs wobbled a little bit, backing up. Caught him right on the temple, Jesse Vargas did. Lots of shots landing for Jesse Vargas. Stiff jab by Vargas as well. I he, agree with Chris. I think that Vargas is looking really sharp. Three rounds to one sounds about right. This is his best sequence right now, Sergio, I think. And everything's off a power jab to the stomach. And yet there is blood now coming from the nose of Jesse Vargas. So extremely active. You can't let up for a second against Garcia. Looks like Vargas is hurt. He is hurt. Wobbly legs got caught trying to stay on his feet and dancing away. Garcia with the right hand and down goes Vargas. Garcia explodes to get the first knockdown of the fight. Vargas is on very shaky legs. That's not a knockdown, but he is not in good shape. No, Vargas is smiling, but he's hurt. Legs aren't under him, and he's in good shape, so we know that he's going to be able to, to stand up and take these shots, but he's looking for that left hook right Only now. Only a few more seconds in this round, but can he survive? Hard body shot by Garcia. Wings a right hand. He's got him trapped in the corner. And here we're going to see that one, two. That's what he's known for. That's what he dropped, drops a lot of fighters with. He dropped Easter with that punch. It's a, it's a left hand just to land that right hand. He guides your head where he's going to want, want to land that right hand. And from there, the combinations just flow. And that hit him on the side of the head, Sergio. And that just really messed up his equilibrium. And there was the final right hand shot. It looks like a simple one, two, but he lured you into that, too. And he puts everything behind it, Mikey Garcia does. And Jesse knows that he's trying to avoid a 10-8 round, trying to survive, but wow, a while. And maybe not even tonight. Uppercut by Garcia for him to recover. He doesn't look good right now. No, he doesn't. And Mike Gar Mikey Garcia's trying to get an angle. Mikey Garcia, he had to be thinking that he was letting some rounds slip away. 
but also confident that he would get his man to keep the volume punching going. And this round, he is just in survival mode. He's doing his best, but he's not back yet. Good jab there by Vargas. Focus on Garcia after having Vargas hurt so much. Has him again with the hook, knocking the head around. Vargas shakes his head. His feet. Man, to land that right hand right there like that. That one on the side of the head, not quite as flush. But he is, he is in stalking mode right now. Moving. But Garcia is the man who's moving forward and imposing his will. And now he's wobbled again with a right hand. Trying to escape. Garcia has him against the ropes. Can Vargas answer? And here's that same one, too, that I was talking about. He got that jab just around that right hand, right on the side of the temple. And Vargas, you got to give him credit, still looking for that left hook right here. Right there, see? Any other person will fall for that left hook, but not Mikey Garcia. Rolling for Jesse Vargas. His head isn't moving. He's not as crisp. We could be getting very close to the end here. Vargas does not look good. Done. And here, Vargas, he's not done, but he does not look good. You have to wonder, too, if Jesse Vargas... Final minute of round eight. Combination from Garcia. A hook from Vargas. But they are barely slowing down the onslaught from Garcia. Point. If you're in his corner, would you advise him to do anything different? Or right. Stitler simply isn't Mikey Garcia's game plan. He is the Iceman of boxing. Good combination. Right, until the fifth round, we were talking a very different fight. That knockdown has changed everything. The fight, man. Pacquiao means big business. Now well, those two have been soft. Brian, and there's no shame in that. He fought one of the best fighters in the world, not only at 147, but period. Vargas with the right hand that finds the jaw. And Vargas improving himself. Hard right hand stops Vargas in his tracks. Vargas looks a little wobbly right now. Yeah, he is definitely hurt after that right hand. Yeah, that right hand hurt Jesse Vargas again. It's the same one, too. Garcia goes to the body. Var the delayed right hand that Mikey Garcia is known for. That's a measure stick jab just to land that right hand. And it lands all the time. That's what originally rocked Jesse Vargas at first. Take it out. Take but it credit out. for Vargas. And Vargas wins this round and the next round. Uh, you know, lo and behold, Chris shot there with that right hand. Just as I'm saying, it's a possibility of some sort of draw. Long, clean shots and scoring shots. To the point, Chris, that you made is a right hand by Garcia. We flip around early on. Final seconds of round 11. We've got one more. Hook there by Vargas. Definitive moment. Came with that knockdown in the fifth round. Right. Like he's gotten a little bit of his timing, a little bit of his rhythm back, and doing stuff like that where he's attacking Mikey Garcia. And if you're five, <laughs> and that's very close. Probably won three of the first four rounds, yes. It's our, the rounds already. So he's only got to win one more, well, two more, actually, to get the draw fix of the 10-8 round. And he's having another good round here, Jesse Barnes is. Whoa. Hit him right on the... He stayed true to who he was and who he is. And a right hand lands by Vargas at the bell. Jesse Vargas never gave up. To the winner by unanimous decision, and now the WBC Diamond Welterweight Champion, Mikey Garcia! Reasonably close on the judges' scorecards. I think the better man won. Sergio Garcia got the better of this fight, but that is eight rounds to four for two of the judges, and that other one, 114 to 113. Jab, he was creative. He showed a lot of spunk. He showed a lot of energy. And again, creative, you know, innovative. Coming up right hand at, you know, to the top after throwing the jab to the body. Did a lot of different combinations to keep Mikey Garcia at bay. No, the first half of the fight, you could totally tell that Jesse Vargas had the confidence. He had the strategy, the game plan. And he was winning the first half of the fight. But like I was talking about with Mikey Garcia, he's always laser focused. He downloads the information of his opponent and the timing of those shots. It's hard to stop timing. And Vargas said that the power surprised him of a Garcia. It was those timing power shots and behind technique. You don't have to be a one-punch power uh, artist to do that, but if you do it with timing, you're going to get hurt.